What is going on guys? My name's Alojix HD and it's another FIFA Mobile Season 2 video on the channel. I've been waiting to do this video for so, so very long. This is your Brazilian Ronaldo icon. It's been a while. I was wondering if they was going to drop the SBC. I was expecting it to be um, at the weekend, maybe a Saturday or something like that. Turns out it wasn't. Luckily, I'm home from my holiday so I can actually produce this video for you. We're going to start off with an 81 minimum team overall with 11 exact players. Now, they can be cheaper ways to this, but this is just one way that I've done it. I've completed the entire squad builder. I have the gameplay for you at the end in case you guys just want to check out the gameplay. If you want a full video dedicated to this Ronaldo gameplay, then I will be able to bring it to you. And I do have some other videos on the World Cup mode as well. If you guys want me to push for other icons, maybe that Alan Shearer, I can try and do that for you as well. But just let me know. But if you guys are new to the channel, I recommend subscribing. If you do enjoy the video, smash the like button. Call the thoughts down below and hit the notification button twice. That way you will never miss one of my uploads. So... <clears throat> I've actually pretty much lost my voice, being brutally honest, and uh, I, I'm trying to do a full commentary throughout this video. It's going to be a bit of a struggle, but I'm going to go for it anyway. In the second video, uh, second video in the second SBC, you need an 82 minimum team overall with 11 exact players, and you need 11 exact nations. You can get any players in any nation. It really doesn't matter. Um, personally, I'd still go for the team of the season items if you can get them. Um, being the team of season contenders in the lower leagues like League One Championship and also the Versi Attack Mode players. This season for Versi Attack Mode hasn't really been uh, used. The tournament wasn't really there. So a lot of the players are going for cheap because they are pretty useless to many people. So moving on to the next one, which is the Squad Builder 3 and I believe it is Ronaldo's career. It is just, it's crazy to think that R9 has such a good card on this game and it isn't that expensive. This squad build overall isn't too expensive at all. You need three minimum league La Liga players, sorry, one Calcio A player and one Euro Divisi player. As you can see, uh, I've gone for the lower rated ones. I've leveled them up a little bit using some of the XP we've gained. I've used a high rated Isco card there, which is untradeable. If you have a lot of high rated untradeable items, such as first attack mode players, that you really are never going to be using, chuck them in. It makes it a whole lot cheaper for you to complete the overall squad builder. Using lower um, using high rated untradeable players that will never be used in your squad in your starting lineup means that you can pretty much work on other players and you don't need to spend any coins like I have breezed through this roughly this squad builder I would say depend on the players you have already in your club I'd say minimum 10 million coins and I'd say maybe maximum 20 million coins. It shouldn't be anywhere near 20 million coins because you should have a lot of these players. Like, for example, that Neymar from preseason for last year. You've got the campaign master, Thiago Silva, Iogo Aspas, which a lot of people have opened so many golden ticket packs by now using coins and other stuff that you probably already have an Iogo Aspas or someone like that. Gabriel Jesus was there from the matchups, another untradeable player there you can use. You need seven Brazilian players in this team. Keep in mind you need them in the exact position. But if you get some high rated in there, you can chuck in some lower rated like the players that I've leveled up here. And that is how you can complete it quite easily, if I'm being brutally honest. But uh, yeah, it, it really wasn't that much of a struggle to complete this one. I used a versus attack mode hamstick there, which I got from playing versus attack mode. With the World Cup getting the uh, versus attack mode passes through doing the versus attack mode game, the World Cup, it made it so much easier for you to pretty much claim so many like big players in versus attack mode season this year. I am, well, this season, I should say. I really didn't struggle at all for that one. This is coming up for the final squad build changer. I'm not being funny. This is where it got a little bit expensive. I could chuck some numbers around for you. I didn't really spend any coins till I got to this point. But as you can see, you're going to need yourselves something like a 91 Marcelo, untradeable again. You can go for other players. 91 Luis Suarez cost me about 5 million. Icardi cost me about 2.7 million. Because obviously you need Inter Milan players, one Barcelona player, two Real Madrid players, and one PSV player. The PSV uh, player I chose was Chucky Lozano. He goes for the 88 rated Mexico left mid, if you guys are wondering who that is. He goes for about 2 million coins. Very, very cheap for such a high rated card. Certainly worth doing. He's probably one of the cheapest ones. So just him and Icardi together comes in at about 5 million plus the Suarez. That puts it up to 10 million. This squad builder in general on its own is at minimum 10 million just for this one. But it obviously depends on who you have already in your club. For me, I had a lot of untradeable players I could chuck in there. 
Um, in terms of this uh, JJ Akotchi, you don't need to use an icon. I was just using him because he was the low rated icon that I'm never going to use in my club and I got him for free. So I thought you might as well go for it. He's not going to be a struggle and uh, you can chuck him in there. 87 rated, you can chuck in any 87 rated if you follow the concept that I have followed. But honestly, guys, that was a very, very easy, um, well, it's just very, very easy icon squad builder change to get that amazing Ronaldo, Luis Nazario, De Lima, the icon for Brazil. How insane is that? 110 pace, 116 shooting, 94 passing, 107 agility, 53 defending, 72 physical. He is an absolute animal of the highest order. 93 overall. When I chuck him into my club, he should be at 105 overall. There are always detailed attributes. 122 shot power. 127 finishing, I think I just saw there. He is very, very good, and I do have a lot of gameplay to show you guys. But let me chuck him into the actual squad. You see how that ultimate team this season, Ronaldo, in there. And you can see how he compares in comparison to normal Ronaldo. Normal Ronaldo? Icon Ronaldo, I should say. I would probably... I don't know. I don't know what it says in terms of stats. I could check foothead to see who's better out of ultimate team this season, Ronaldo. And... Uh, Icon Ronaldo. Maybe if you guys want me to drop a video of the two Ronaldos up front, I can do that. The Brazilian Icon and the Ultimate Team of the Season Ronaldo. I think that'd be quite interesting to show you guys. But as you can see, that is the full detailed attributes and the full stuff, um, primary attributes, I should say, for the Brazilian Icon. Can't believe how easy it was really to complete. Certainly, I can try for Shearer. I'm not going to say it wasn't the most expensive one I've done out of all of them, but certainly um, for the player you're getting, I'd say it's worth it. You're about to witness some gameplay. Now, I'm not in the highest versus attack mode division. I have, haven't been focused on it. I've been playing the World Cup mode. But as you can see, Ronaldo is just going to run on through. He's going to do absolute. He's just unbelievable. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I missed that one. I, like, it's been a while. I am going to try and use Ronaldo as much as possible um, in this gameplay. Certainly, I think he is worth it, guys. If you can go for him and you haven't been on the main game for a while... Just being on the World Cup mode, you can earn so many coins from what you do. So keep that in mind. One of the best tips I can give you is to pretty much go onto the World Cup mode, rack up some coins um, through playing the campaigns on there and stuff like that. Come back over to the main game and you'll be fine from there. If you want to know whether player bundles from the World Cup mode are worth it when you go to the exchange part of the normal store, then uh, you can check out my video. I do have that, in fact, for you guys to have a look at. But uh, yeah, I literally, words cannot describe it. It's so fun to use this card. Um, I, a lot of the time, I was just passing to Ronaldo out of fun. I wasn't struggling in the games I was playing. And Ronaldo certainly does do the job when you want him to. Just I literally was just enjoying everything I was doing with him. It's funny enough, I was missing so many shots from where I was just I was just messing about. Like, but look, he's just finishing. It's just his quality. I, I can't ask for more. I don't know whether he's better than Ultimate Team this season, Ronaldo. I really am not sure, but... If you guys want me to do a full comparison between the two, um, R9 versus uh, C7, I can do that for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think I'm going to leave it here. Again, any other icon squad blue changes you want me to try and do, I can complete. I've completed a lot of the ones already, so I recommend going and checking them out. If you're new to the channel, I recommend subscribing. If you do or did enjoy the video, smash the like button. Call your thoughts down below and hit the notification button twice. That way you'll never miss one of my uploads. Thank you again for 23,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'll leave you with one last game of versus attack mode to enjoy. I'll see you guys as always in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.
Before we go, we get more to go. 